Hey everyone, so welcome back to another episode of Maker's World. So I do have something a little bit different planned. Um, I am going to be sat on my butt and I'm going to be doing some drawing, but not with a pen, but with a 3D printing pen. Still a pen, but it's 3D printing. So my idea today is to take this drawing, blow it up, make it big. I want to make the letters bold and large and just make it a bit bigger than what's what it is right now i want to then draw around it with the 3d printing pen take it away from the paper and just build on it and add to it and see what i can come up with do have a few ideas as to how i can make this quite cool i used to carry around a notepad and i would do something like this and just doodle and draw and just just mess around i was a lot better then than what i am now trust me that that was hard enough so I'm going to get started, get this down onto paper and see what we can do. So one of the first things I want to start out with is a wall. So I'm going to start off with something like this. If I take that side up for the spray can, I'm then going to go with something on here. Right, so it's got a bit of a base down, so... Once I've drawn it out with a 3D pen, I do intend to add more detail to it, but for now, let's just try and keep it relatively simple. So I'm gonna give it a try in a moment and 3D print the filament straight onto the paper and hope that it don't stick. I don't know if it will, I don't know if it won't. So we'll give it a moment, let the pen heat up, and then we'll give it a try. So it's nice and simple, this is the 3D printing pen. Uh, it's got a couple of different buttons. Uh, these control the speed that the actual filament comes out, and you've got two retraction ones to like draw the filament into the pen, and the other ones to send it out backwards. We press the button that wants us to feed the filament into it, and that's it going in now. So I'm gonna let that feed through. All right. As you can see, it's now coming out the end. It's black at the moment because it's feeding out the last colour that was in it, which was the black. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's just slowly changing colour now. And the black's all gone. So, as a bit of a test. Yep, yeah, brilliant. So I can print onto the paper and it should lift straight up. So, let's get cracking. Right, so I've just drawn a few guidelines. Um, obviously this is not gonna be exact. Um, I don't want it to be exact. It's not supposed to be real world-like. No spray cans that big, you know, unless the, the actual graffiti tags are about this big. So I'm just gonna swap the color out now for this, which I thought kind of went well to be the like the cement that goes in between each of the bricks. The, the Is it the mortar? Mortar or no? Right, so I've got the horizontal lines put in. Now I need to do the vertical lines. It's quite flimsy at the moment. There's not much to it, so let's build upon that. Right, so we have our brick wall. It's not perfect. We've got some long bricks, some fat bricks, some short bricks. <laughs> We've got a bit of a mix and match of size. Not too sure what went on here. Nevertheless, looks pretty good. It's gonna definitely do us for what we need. So I'm just gonna crack on and start coloring this in. I have just cut this out because I have just discovered that I'm running out of the brown filament 
that I'm using for the bricks and I'm hoping that um, if I cut this out and just lay it over the top I'll be able to work out what bricks I need to do in brown and the other ones I can do in a bit of a different colour. Right so I've just laid the paper down and got a good idea as to which ones I need so I've just put a little mark in the ones that I need to colour in so I'm going to do that now. Taking a little bit longer than colouring in I'll tell you. Definitely running out, we've got this little bit left so let's colour in this one here. Oh, come on, it's the last little bit. Come on. Right, got most of that done. Which is the next worst one? It's, it's in the pen. It's not even sticking out anymore. Darn it. Uh, the next worst one. So, which can I not cover, in fact? Because that's probably the worst bit there. Let's get that covered. Oh, that's it gone. So, I think the next best thing that I can do is stick the black in there and right so this is where we're at now obviously rather disappointed that I've used the black in it but I did run out of brown didn't have any other option if I was to order more I'm looking at a three day wait and to be honest I'm going to be able to hide this behind the colour. Righty ho so this is where we got up to last night when I finished off as you can see if I do that, the only bit of black, for instance, is a little bit here. So I can work with that. And I have another little camera here. Hello. Hoping that this is going to give you a little bit of a better view. Last night, whilst I was thinking over this, I remembered that I had a little sheet of glass. So that is what I'm going to use to draw on. So yeah, let's just begin. So obviously this is a little bit harder than what I was doing yesterday, I guess. It just has to be a bit more controlled. I'm trying to keep even lines and stuff, but that's not too easy. So we'll just move that out of the way, but just so you can see that. Hey, I'm happy with that. That is fantastic. Get in. Oh, I can't wait to colour that in. Oh, I missed a bit. Missed a bit here. I'll fill that in in a minute. Ah, oh, yes. Now, let's do the outline of the spray can. Right, so I've now got a bit of yellow in this, so we're going to focus on the crown. I'm quite happy with that, that looks good. So I think I'm going to add it onto this now and start putting the colour on it. Hiding as much as possible. I think if we do it there. That looks awesome. Check it out. Yeah, boy. I'm loving this. Absolutely loving it. Get this bad boy coloured in. Just started to retract the filament and then realised that I haven't done the exclamation mark. So let's get that in. Right, so I think I'm going to start on the head of the spray can. So that's going to be next. Part of me wants to see if I can add highlights to the lettering. Let's go for it, why not? That doesn't look too bad. was a little bit unsure um, obviously it's quite fine detail to be adding with this pen so I'm going to use the white and add a label onto the spray can right so it might seem like I've lost the plot for a moment but I know it's like black grey, white and now I've got purple but I think we need to make it a little bit more funky so so I think I'm gonna add a bit of a bubble around it let's crack on with that I wasn't 100% sure whether I like the purple or not, but 
think that looks pretty darn good. Right, so I've got a bit of light blue going on now. I'm not sure what I want to do, but I think I'm just going to chuck on a couple bits and just see what happens. Alright, so I've just added a little bit of blue. Just wanted to give it a little bit more of something. Um, I think I'm going to put the purple back in and go around the blue. Um, and I still need to come back to the crown and add a little bit of detail to that also. Alright, so we're going to get that purple back in now um, and go around this blue. Um, try and give it a little bit of definition. So we are almost finished with this now. I'm going to just do the little bit of something to this crown. And I think I might call it a day there, you know, I'm, I'm not sure. Alright, so that's all looking pretty good. I think I'm just going to add three little bits of red onto the crown to sort of symbolise jewels. And uh, I think I'm going to leave it there. Right, so I've drawn this little triangle now, so I'm going to fill this in, and the, that is what I'm going to use as just a little support for the back of it. And there we have it, it stands up. So that's the project all finished now. It was quite a simple one. Um, wasn't a whole lot to it, but at the same time it was a little bit fiddly. But it was a fun project, quite relaxing. And definitely something I've been wanting to do for quite some time now. I find that to be amazing. That original problem that we had of the black brick obviously all disappeared. We managed to hide it. So obviously things that I could improve on. Make sure I've got enough brown filament. But also just to spend a little bit more time on the brick. So obviously we've got like a long brick there and then a short brick there. And yeah, so stuff like that is definitely a way to improve. So I hope you enjoyed this project. It was definitely something different than what I'd normally do. It wasn't as hands-on and machiney. Sit down, relax and doodle. So if you did enjoy this sort of project, let me know down in the comments section. Let me know what you did like, you didn't like, or just how your day is. Let me know down in the comments section. So that's all for today's project. I hope you did enjoy it, and I hope to see you all again next time.